And Jenkins stumbles a little bit as he takes the snap. Pump fakes, he's got to get rid of it. He's looking. It's going to Cagle on the near side here. It's wide open. He goes to the middle of the field instead of the sideline and spins away, breaks the tackle. He's on his feet. He's in the end zone. Touchdown, Blue Devils. Brian, I'm going to tell you something, and you'll remember this, and the Blue Devil fans will remember it. Last year, the second game of the year, we went down to Mattis, and we ended up losing that game. It was a great ball game. But in that game, when the Devils trailed at the very end, they had to have the touchdown. Same exact play went to John Cagle. He got away with that spin move. You just think it's not going to work, and there he goes round and around. At this time, it was Brad Cagle. You're exactly right. And now comes on Greenaway to add the extra point. Devils ahead 21 to 20. There's 205 to go in the game, and it's not over at all yet. And I think they're going to go for two. I think you're right. Protect against the field goal. And I tell you, that was a super scintillating play and brought the Blue Devil fans alive on the far side of the field. What excitement for the Devils. Blue Devils come to the line trying to extend their lead to three points. And it looks like winning in the backfield as a fullback here. John Cagle in motion to the near side. And it's a handoff to Jones, and he's not going anywhere. 2.05 to go in the ball game. Culpepper has their first lead of the game, 21 to 20. As you can see, the road to Richmond was not without its roadblocks. However, we went on to win from Woodbridge, 21 to 20. The second game, game two, Madison. Also a state champion this year. Down and 10 for the Blue Devils from the Mountaineers 20. There's the snap, and it's Brandon Jones up the right side. Huge hole made by Kevin Mays, and Brandon Jones tripped up just before the goal line. You're exactly right. Mays was piled around him in, and they also had uh, Daniel Winning that time was set in the slot, and you see that play, man. I tell you, really developed. They knocked him right into the middle of the line. Big old hole there, so the Devils pick up a third first down. This drive started on 41, and then knocking on the door now. It's first and goal. About the two-yard line. First and goal for the Blue Devils now. Looks like winning in the backfield along with Brandon Jones. And there's the handoff to Brandon Jones. Tries the right side again. And it's a touchdown, Blue Devils. All's well. It ends well. That play didn't start very sharply there. Jones slipped as he came out of the backfield, but takes the handoff. Big power surge from the Devils' offensive line. Gets him into the end zone safely. So 9-19 to go in the first quarter. Devils with a 6-0 lead. And Greenaway on just a moment to add the extra point. Third and 14 now for the Blue Devils after that pass and completion. Jenkins takes the snap and fakes the handoff. The blitz is on. He's hit as he throws, and the ball's here to the near side. It's up for grabs. Dinkins tips it, catches it. Touchdown. My, oh, my. And I tell you, fans, you want to get your Blue Devil highlight film for sure, make sure you get that from Channel 21 because that's the play that you want to keep right there. Give Mike Jenkins all the credit for standing in there in the pocket. He saw the blitz coming. He's strong, 235 pounds, 6'3". He held in there. Ball got it away, batted in the air by Dinkins, and then he fights for it and just comes down with it. So six period scores again. Go Devils. Once again, Greenway for the PAT and Stefan Orange the hold. And there's a the snap, the hold's down, the kick is off the post and did not go through. 409 to go in the fir first quarter. It's now 13 to 0. Culpepper Blue Devils leading the Mountaineers. 452 to go in the third quarter. And Jenkins looks over the defense. Let's see what the Blue Devils do this time. And it's a quarterback keeper. Knee goes down a little early. Let's see what the call is. Touchdown, Blue Devils. Eighth play of the drive for the Devils, and Mike Jenkins punches it in. Lead mounts to 19 to nothing. Devils started, of course, that time. The first possession of the second half on their own 41-yard line after they stopped Madison. Madison had a nice drive going there. Three first downs, and they um, reached the Devils 41, but they couldn't take it in. Devils marched smartly down the field. Combination of those runs there. And, of course, now Greenaway on dead the extra point. There's the snap. There's the hold. The kick is up. And it is good. 442 to go in the third quarter. The Blue Devils now lead the ball game 20 to 0 over the Madison County Mountaineers. First and goal now for the Blue Devils. And there's a quick handoff to Souter over the right side, and it should be a touchdown, and it is. 
Side of blast in the three yard line. Very well deserved touchdown for the young man. Some super blocking out there tonight. And of course, the senior leadership uh, stepping to the fore for the Devils in the fourth quarter here. Madison looked like he might get back in the ball game, but good old speed on speed. Curtis Robinson with that interception over the middle there on about the 35 brought it back to 24. And the Devils rolled in in four plays. So with 5.57 to go in the ball game, the score mounts 26 to 6. See what the Devils do. Horn's got the hold down. The kick is up. And it is good. 5.57 left to go in the ball game. The score is now Culpeper County Blue Devils 27, Madison Mountaineer 6. And that was the final score as well. We won 27 to 6 over the state champion Madison Mountaineers. Game three was against Chancellor. Uh, Mike Greenaway is on to attempt his first field goal of the season. It's a 40-yard attempt. There's a snap to hold. The kick is up. It's high enough. Looks long enough. We'll have to wait and see. And it is good. A 40-yard field goal by Mike Greenaway. Drive going here for the Blue Devils as they near that charger end zone. Two minutes to go here in the first half. There's a pitch to Jones. He looks over that defense trying to make the corner. And he's met there after a pickup of about three or four yards. Jones's carry was good enough to make it first and goal for the Blue Devils. 1.35 to go in the first half. Jenkins back to pass. Ball is, looks like it could be picked off, and we'll have to see. No, Dinkins fights that ball away from the defender, and the officials a single and a touchdown. Well, I tell you, fans, I had the binoculars on it. We're watching it here on the monitor, but thank goodness Al Gage has got it because I tell you, that was a super sensational pass play. My camera angle, of course, you saw it. It looked like straight on that was going to be an interception. I think the young man Ham thought he was going to pull it down, but Dinkins just knifed in front of him to make that reception. That's why he's second team all state. That's why he's a great player for the Devils. So. And we have a two back set. And it's Crop right up the middle. Big hole over the left side. He's got one man to beat. Oh, big block there for the Blue Devils. He's got the end zone. No, out of, out of bounds just before the pylon. Second down and goal now for the Blue Devils from the one-yard line this time. There's the snap. Brandon Jones once again jumps over the nice block. Touchdown, Blue Devils. And that time with the full house backfield, they had winning going up in the hole along with Sider, and he goes right behind winning, puts it in for the touchdown, 123 to go in the third quarter, score mounts to 16 to 7. Mike Greenaway will be on the moment to add the extra point. And 33 to go in the ball game. And Jenkins takes the snap. And there's a quick handoff to Crop. Picks his hold and finds nobody there to tackle him. Makes one man miss. It's off to the races. Kevin Mays and Dinkins kind of lead the way. Number three makes the saving tackle and pushes him out of bounds. I tell you, and they have some speed too. And it's a good thing they had Craig Brown there to knock him out of bounds because that devil offensive line out there opened up a tremendous hole and Crop, the running star of the game tonight. Chance is going to call a timeout here, but the Blue Devils have excited their fans again they have, uh, clinging to the 17 to 14 lead is 10 21 to go in the ball game but the whole game looks different when you get a tremendous run like that 53 yards he goes downfield and crop has really put the blue devils back on offense now great play by the devils and then Souter and daniel winning in the backfield and there's the snap hand off to jones following that block of Souter, and it looks like jones is off to the near side here touchdown blue devils well, I tell you, thunder and lightning, this is a part of your Blue Devil highlight tape that you want to cue up because this is what made the difference. Look at the cowbells ringing, and as Brian Wolf said just a moment ago, the thunderous foot stomping here by the Devils on this side. Crop with a 53-yard run sets up. Uh, Jones on the 16-yard run. He just had the speed to the outside, gets into the corner of the end zone. Crop with 103 yards on eight carries, and Jones with his second touchdown of the night. Greenaway on to add the extra point, and the Devils are happy again. Got away with a hold on. There's snap. There's the hold. Here comes the kick. It's up, up, up there, high enough, and it is a successful PAT. First and goal now for the Blue Devils. 2.15 to go in the ball game. There's the snap. Hand off to Brandon Jones. And it's a touchdown, Blue Devils. 
Give Jones the credit, his third touchdown of the ball game, a six-yard run with two minutes to go, and great play by the Devils, but also excellent coaching by Lou Sarantino. You keep those offensive linemen fresh, and chance that this doesn't have it here in the fourth quarter to stop the Devils. They played gamely tonight. They got some great breaks on defense, and they turned them into touchdowns, but they haven't driven the field on the Devils, just not able to do that. The Devils have stayed fresh in that offensive line. We play a couple more quarters. They can continue to pound it in. Here's Greenaway on to add the extra point now. And it's down, and it's up, and it is... Good. So the Devils now with a 31 to 21 lead. Blue Devil fans are very happy now. And the fans were able to stay happy. We beat Chancellor 31 to 28. Thanks for catching that Culpepper feeling, and thanks for joining us for Culpepper Blue Devil football on Channel 21. These games have was not without its cliffhangers. Check out Game Four against Albemarle. Second and ten now for the Blue Devils. 9:20 to go in the opening period. And Jenkins back, fake handoff, and looking to pass, going here to the near side. And it's got Daniel winning for the reception, knocked out of bounds after a nice pickup. Second and 12 now for the Blue Devils. And a handoff right up the middle. Number nine, Gaskins for the Blue Devils. He makes a cut to the outside. He's at the 20, down to the 15, and knocked out of bounds near the 10-yard line. First and 10 now for the Blue Devils as they look to punch it in. Fake handoff once again. Jenkins rolling to the near side. Here's the pass, and he's wide open in the end zone. Touchdown, Ryan back. Oh, a great fake that time by Mike Jenkins. Looked like he's going to hand it off to Addison Deal. Lofted in the end zone, and there it goes complete to Ryan Back. And I tell you, he dropped one last week, and the fans oohed and awed, but he pulled that one in. Great play, slanting away from the linebacker. Second down and seven for the Blue Devils. Deal and winning in the backfield. Jenkins fakes the handoff, rolling to the near side for the pass as the Patriots give chase. And right over the middle is Daniel winning the fullback, and he's got it. He's brought down right about the five-yard line. A deal and winning that time at the backs as the Blue Devils continue to rotate him and winning it was kind of in the wing back position just went straight down the field cut a little to the outside Mike Jenkins great roll out there and I think it's going to be a face mask penalty tacked on at the end here possibly so a nice pickup for the Devils Mike Jenkins now is five for six in the ball game looking sharp with the pass and let's tack on the penalty at the end here. After a face mask penalty against the Patriots it's first and goal for the Blue Devils from the Patriots three. And there's a handoff crop over the right side, right at the end zone, and he's into it for a Blue Devil touchdown. I tell you, we saw the Devils do some great uh, blocking, some trap blocking last week, and uh, Crop just seems to have the knack to run that play, and you saw it once again. They made one spin move, and they stopped short of the goal line, another spin move, and he goes right in. 52.7 seconds to go in this quarter, and the Devils get it up to 13-7, to and Greenaway on to add the extra point now. There's a snap, the hold by Orange. The kick is blocked, well, that just, or tipped a little bit, but it still goes through the uprights. 52 seconds to go in the first quarter. It, the Blue Devils now lead the football game 14 to seven over the homestanding Albemarle Patriots. Well, the Patriots were able to score once again, but we hung on, we won 14 to 13 against Albemarle. By game five, the Sorrentino steamroller was steamrolling. Check out Sharando. Up with the ball around the left side, a little bit of room. He's looking for that end zone. Nice block there, and he's in for a Blue Devil touchdown. Pitch to Addison Deal again. He's trying to make that corner. A little bit more speed again. Nice block. It walks into the end zone, and we'll have to look for flags, but I don't think we see any. Third down and a long 12 now for the Warriors after that lost play there. And there's the blitz of Gaskins. He's nailed, and the ball's loose, and Ryan Back picks it up. He's headed to the end zone. Touchdown, Blue Devils. Looks like they got crop in the backfield. There's the snap. Dink. Jenkins back to pass. Pump fakes to the left. Goes here to the near side. Caught and into the end zone is John Cagle. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, Brooks, that's his first touchdown of the year. He's looking to pass, looking at that far side. Right over the middle is Dinkins. Heading for the end zone. Blue Devil touchdown, Terrence Dinkins. All righty, now we'll be happy when we get back in school next week. I can say to my sixth period, that's how you do the moon dance. You run first and goal at the five. Hand off this time to Crop, just testing that right side, just kind of bowls his way, and he's into the end zone. Blue Devil touchdown. Here's the kickoff by Greenaway. Nice high, straight down the middle. And it's Damus on the return, makes one man miss, and in on the tackle, there's Craig Rogers. Ball is loose, picked up here by Stefan Orange. Looks like he's going to the end zone for another Blue Devil touchdown. Brandon Souter, the blocking fullback, and he crop follows that big block by Souter. Breaks it to the outside, and it's off to the races. 
And he's into the end zone for a touchdown. Get some more bulbs for the scoreboard, and I tell you, a 19-yard touchdown run, the ref's going to have to have a lot more flags than they've had so far if they're going to slow down the Blue Devils' mighty offense tonight. Crop with some super running, good blocking up front. Fourth and 10 for the Warriors, back in punt formation. This time it's Stefan Orange back deep for the Blue Devils. Nice high punt. And it's Craig Rogers who gets the ball, and he's trying to make the outside. Good block that time by Young. And he's going down the sideline, and he's brought down. Oh, he laterals the ball backwards, and the Blue Devils are off to the races here, and it's into the end zone. 7.20 to go in the ball game. There's the snap. Handoff right up the left side here. Brandon Jones looks like he's heading for the end zone. He's in for a Blue Devil touchdown. Second and two for the Blue Devils as they're near the Warriors goal line and Carter keeps the ball and is still on his feet. Almost, yeah, he's into the end zone for a Blue Devil touchdown. There's the extra point attempt by Greenaway. Right through the uprights. 3.17 to go in a ball game now. It's Culpeper County Blue Devils 74, Sharando Warriors 20. So the Sorrentino steamroller steamrolled over Sharando. North Stafford, they'd be a different story. The national press took an interest in this game. Third and five for the Blue Devils. They're down at the 15-yard line of the Wolverines. And fake handoff. Jenkins back to pass. The blitz is on. Tipped a little bit. Pass caught by winning here on the near side. Switches hands with the ball into the end zone. It looks like touchdown Blue Devils. First and 10 for the Blue Devils at the Wolverines 47-yard line. 9.37 to go in the first half. Handoff right up the middle of Brandon Jones. Nice big hole again. Cuts it outside, cuts it back in. It's off to the races. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Blue Devils. And Brooks, I'm looking and I don't see any flags, and it's a touchdown. Well, you went into the sixth game, then. There shouldn't be any flags. I think we got that out of our system. The refs got it out of the system in the first five games. And Brandon Jones, great run to the left side there. That's a 47 yard touchdown run for. Brandon Jones, the leading scorer in the district, and he puts up another one there. The Devils with three impressive possessions. The first one led to a touchdown, a 15-yard TD to winning. Intercepted a moment ago down on the two-yard line, but that time, Devils not to be denied. Brandon Jones, great move to the left, and then cuts back across the field and got too much speed, beats him to the end zone. Just Greenaway on for the extra point. There's the hole by Orange. The kick by Greenaway is up. It's high enough, long enough, and it's through the uprights. Third and three for the Blue Devils as the ball sits right on the Wolverines' 45-yard line. Big play here needed by the Blue Devils. John Cagle in motion, pitch right over the middle. Completed, tight end special, Ryan back up to the middle, off to the races. Touchdown, Blue Devils. Well, you know, the fans are always saying, why don't you throw to the tight end? Why don't you throw it to the tight end? The Devils did that time. Wasn't anything wrong with that Mike Jenkins pass at all. He put that thing on the line. We had Kegel in motion to this side of the field. And when he zipped it over the middle, Ryan back took it in full stride. And he goes right into the end zone. The Devils get the score up now to 20 to 7. And that was a quick three-play drive. They hadn't completed that. The Devils hadn't gone three and out all night there. And that would have been three and out for them unless they decided to go for it. But First and goal for the Blue Devil defense at Souter and Jeremy Bailey with Brandon Jones running back. Jenkins keeps it himself, falls into the end zone. Touchdown, Blue Devils. Second Blue Devil touchdown rushing this year for Mike Jenkins, and the Devils have looked really sharp on offense. That's their fifth possession, and they've got the fourth touchdown on the board. Only one interception in this first half marred the Blue Devils' perfect effort on offense, and the Devils have been hitting hard on defense. I tell you, a lot of the fans are really surprised tonight. Uh, they read too much in the paper, and of course, ink is cheap. You can buy it by the barrel. The Devils have come out there and played here in the first half. Just outstanding here. First possession of the second half for the Blue Devils. First and 10 from their own 22-yard line there. There's a snap, handoff around the left side there to Brandon Jones, still on his feet, busts a couple tackles, cuts it up the middle, it's off to the races. First play of the second half for the Blue Devils, and Brandon Jones is running this, streaking down the sideline. 10-5, touchdown, Blue Devils. Fourth and seven for the Blue Devils. Big play here for both sides, of, both sides of the ball. Jenkins back to pass, looking here to the near side, going to the end zone, has got John Cagle. Ball's up for grabs, touchdown, Blue Devils. What a beautiful catch, John Cagle. Got crop here in the backfield, and the pitch is to Brandon Jones around the right side. We've seen this play before. He breaks the corner. It's off to the races. One man to beat. He's down to the 20, 10, 15, 5. Touchdown, Blue Devils. I don't think he stepped out of bounds, and no, he didn't. And there's the call. It's touchdown, Blue Devils. You had to love it when the Washington Post had the pro because they thought North Stafford would beat the Blue Devils. 
Thanks once again for catching that Culpepper feeling with Culpepper Blue Devil Football right here on Channel 21. These games are... Effort. Victory sweet. And there's a the snap. The pitch out around to Brandon Jones around that right side. Looks for that hole. Heads for the end zone. Nice stiff arm and he's in for the touchdown. Devils look really sharp on offense the first time down there. That's a 10-yard touchdown run for Brandon Jones. He carried once on that uh, drive four, 15 yards. The Devils started on their own 48 and punched it in, made three uh, first downs and looked real smart. So Lou Sarantino coming back to Stafford when he um, coached and taught here for six years, uh, talking to Jim Jones, the athletic director before the ball game. He said, yeah, he taught, uh, coached my two sons. Of course, Todd Campbell was a wide receiver for Lou Sarantino. So it's homecoming, and uh, the Devils are starting off well, making the coaches look good. Third down and eight now. Jenkins back to pass, looking far side, pump fakes, going deep. And he's got a man wide open, Terrence Dinkins. He's heading for the end zone and breaks the tackle and brumbles right in that end zone for a touchdown. You know, we talked about it in class last week and talked to Lou Sorrentino about it yesterday, about these young men and padding the stats and all the scoring that they want to get and all the receptions they want to get and said, man, you just take care of business here and the stats will take care of themselves. And sure enough, there he goes with that pump fake. How many times have we seen that? He beats his man to the far side and then rolls down the field, and that's a 53-yard uh, uh, touchdown pass to, to Dinkins. That's Mike Jenkins' le uh, 12th touchdown pass of the year. And on to add the extra point is Greenway now. Stinkins is fifth reception. After that holding penalty, it's now first and ten for the Blue Devils. Take that spot penalty spot from the infraction. Jenkins back to pass. Looking deep over the middle. Fingertip catch. Dinkins into the end zone. Touchdown, Blue Devils. All right, for Dinkins, that's his sixth touchdown reception of the year. He's added two tonight and gets the Devils up to 20 to three. Good pass uh, protection that time from Mike Jenkins. Lofted the ball through the night, and the Blue Devil fans on the far side are ecstatic. And this Blue Devil quick strike offense, we're getting all the ink this year, this week. We're getting all the coverage here. Uh, last week was North Stafford and that famous no huddle, and the uh, Blue Devils held them down. But uh, the Blue Devils, are everything they cracked up to be tonight, and they're putting the points on the board. His Greenway on to attempt the 21st. Point. Third and goal for the Blue Devils are at the nine yard line now. Got Brandon Jones in the backfield. Jenkins back to pass. Dinkins on that far side there, and it's going to. We'll have to see if he gets it in. Dinkins for another touchdown for the Blue Devils. I'll tell you, and that settles it there. As a player of the game, it turns Dinkins with his third touchdown reception of the year um, of the game. He came in with four, and he now has up to, to seven in this ball game. So that goes for a, the nine-yard touchdown reception. And that ball was zipped across the far corner of the end zone, dived, laid out for it, hung on to it, and brings it in. That gets the score up to 27 to 10. Greenaway on to add the extra point now. Super pass and super reception by Dinkins. Three touchdown receptions tonight. He's done it all for the Devils. Snap the hold. The kick is up. And through the uprights for a good PAT. 3-0-1 to go in the ball game. The Blue Devils now lead, lead 28 to 10 over the Stafford Indians. Pretty good homecoming for coaches Sorrentino and Campbell. We beat Stafford 28-18. On the road to Richmond, we play James Woods, and it was their homecoming. Second and five for the Blue Devils, just underway in the first quarter, 10-20 to go. There's a snap, Jenkins back to pass again, looking to the near side this time. Got Dinkins again with the reception as the defender falls down, cuts it inside. It's off to the end zone for Terrence Dinkins. Touchdown, Blue Devils. Came in with seven touchdown receptions. He now has nine. To Mike Jenkins, that's up to 16 touchdown passes. And the Devils look sharp on offense. A couple of unusual plays up. But I like that screen a moment ago. Here's Greenaway on to add the extra point. Now. Snap by Jenkins. The hole by Orange and the kick by Greenaway. And it's a successful PAT. 6.30 to go in the opening corner. The Culpeper County Blue Devils now lead the football game 14-0 over the James Wood Colonels. Second down and 13 for the Blue Devils. Looks like Souter and Deal in the backfield. Back to pass, quick over the middle to the tight end. Touchdown, Ryan Back. Nice slant over the middle there to Ryan Back in for um, back on the season. That's his uh, third touchdown reception. He had one on a fumble return we saw, and the Devils have got it all together. They hit him to the outside, they hit him to the inside, and that nice slant to the tight end. So uh, Devils with 20-0 uh, in the lead, and Greenway on to add the extra point. And watch Stephon Orange, watch his quick hands on this, uh, grabbing the ball and putting it down here and getting a good snap. And goal for the Blue Devils. Jenkins under center this time. Back to pass again. Going to the end zone. Got John Cagle. And into the end zone for a touchdown. 
Oh, I'll tell you, what a great reception. Couldn't be more proud of, uh, of John Cagle that time. That's his third touchdown reception of the year, and the Devils are firing on all cylinders. And let me tell you, across the field, we can hear the Blue Devil fans uh, whooping it up as the score mounts 34-0. Greenway will be on in just a moment. The pass from the 10-yard line. The Devils started on their own 46, made positive yardage on every play. That shotgun looked great, and time to call the dogs off here, but we're practicing some things for Brook Point. I tell you, the Blue Devil fans have to be happy and ever to see all this come together tonight. Blue Devils have the ball inside the five-yard line of the Colonels. Jenkins back to pass, throwing deep, and Ryan back in there for a touchdown for the Blue Devils. Hey, Ryan back. That's, he's doubled his touchdown receptions for the year. He came in with two in that fumble recovery, and now he's got four, and uh, Mike Jenkins making it look easy. It's a four-yard uh, touchdown pass. That completes a nine-yard drive for the Devils after Stephen Barber had that interception. And Second down for the Blue Devils now. Two minutes to go in the first half. Pitch around the end to Brandon Jones. His favorite play cuts it up the field. Couple broken tackles. Another missed tackle, and he's off to the end zone for a Blue Devil touchdown. Good run by Brandon Jones. This might be the last play of the half. Five seconds going back to pass. Wide open deep. Intercepted by the Blue Devils. Stephon Orange. And he's got a little bit of room here. up we'll to see if he can make it or not. Got the convoy down the sideline. And look at Fuller out there trying to get a block in. He's tackled short of the end zone. Though, about the 10-yard line. Last play of the half. I tell you, let's give some credit to Gabriel Fuller on both ends that time because first he put the pressure on the quarterback and then Orange, when he picked that ball off, I really thought he was going all the way. I thought we'd pass 50 before halftime. Gabriel Fuller down there trying to get the last block and he could have got him in the end zone. It's fourth down now for the Colonels as they're back at the Blue Devil 18-yard line. Rolling straight back this time. Pass over the middle. Intercepted by the Blue Devils. Looks like a dwell of dolls up the near sideline. One man to beat. He's at the 40 and he's down to the 30 and he's going to be into that end zone unless he runs out of gas, but he turns it in the end zone and touchdown Blue Devils. I tell you, it's homecoming heartbreak, but happy, happy for the Devils. We're talking to Gabriel Fuller's uncle here at, uh, at halftime was with us, had some of Peg's cookies, some real nice folks up here in Winchester tonight, but the Devils are just running homecoming for them. Impressive drive started on the uh, 23 of James Wood, reached the Blue Devil 18, but Dawes then takes that interception back all the way, and Greenway on to add the 56 point, 56 points. Not a good homecoming for James Woods. We won 56 to 7. The road to Richmond saw game nine with perennial powerhouse Brook Point. Second down and 10 now for the Blackhawks. They're in the uh, formation in Blue Devil territory. 154 to go on the opening quarter. Hand off to the running back. Met in the backfield, but breaks free. He's got the sideline, and it looks like he's off to the races as the Blue Devils give chase. It's Stephon Orange, but he's into the end zone for a touchdown. 47 yards, and he broke one tackle at the line of scrimmage. He got to the outside. He was off and away. Tough touchdown for the Devils to give up. The offense hasn't sparked yet. They're going to have to get on the ball here. Jenkins comes out of the huddle after the timeout. Still first down 10 at the, at the Blackhawk 15. Back to pass, deep drop over to the far side, complete to Danny Winning, headed for the end zone. Touchdown, Blue Devils. The Blue Devil fans are ecstatic. The Devils, after starting in Blackhawk territory for the first time, march smartly down the field, and the pass to Winning takes them into the end zone. The Blue Devil homecoming crowd has come alive. Now, if the defense can hold, we'll have a ball game of it again. Greenaway on to add the extra point. This could be the play of the ball game, Blue Devil fans. 3.44 to go. It's fourth and two, deep in Blue Devil territory at the seven-yard line. If they ever need to hold, this is it. A little bit of jumping going on, trying to draw us off sides. Blue Devils fake the blitz. There's the handoff. Met in the backfield and stopped. He didn't get that ball. It's going to be Blue Devils ball. First down and 10. Big stand by the Blue Devil defense. They just saved the game. I tell you, Brian, they had it when it counted, and the Blue Devil fans got behind them after some bad calls. We had some of our special guests here after halftime, got one of Peg's cookies, brought us some good luck from William and Murray and Old Dominion, all the schools here. Everybody came back for homecoming, and they've seen the Blue Devils make a great goal line stand. Way to go, Devils. 
Big third down play for the Blue Devils. Third and seven at their own 12. 2.30 to go in the ball game. Jenkins back to pass. Lots of time going deep. Has Dinkins with a step. He's wide open. He's got the ball. 30, 20. He's going for the end zone. Big touchdown, Blue Devils, as they take the lead. What a pass by Mike Jenkins, a reception by Dinkins. Well, I tell you, Brian, you're going to be as hoarse as I am. The Blue Devil fans gave it all up tonight. They gave it all up for homecoming. And we just said just a moment ago, we're going to make a rally. We're going to get our voice back. We're going to yell and holler and whoop. And the Blue Devils are going to take it in. And Dinkins, unbelievable. He is the king of homecoming. Travis Miller won it. But Dinkins is the king of homecoming for Michael Jenkins. And all of our fans here in the booth with us have just brought us tremendous defensive stand and now tremendous offensive touchdown. 2.16 to go. Greenaway on to add the all-important extra point. Oh, boy.